Do you want a banana? Really? Oh. 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 Alright, we're back pretty much talking about the male ego again and how this is actually quite a good thing that most men are stuck in the matrix as they call it they they have this ego as if you know like I've ever seen an old spaghetti western where this guy this this guy told a story in a bar about he saw a girl once he was out in the bush and he saw this girl go by and uh, he I don't know, like he, he almost talked to her or something. And it was one of the, the most epic moments of his life and he remembers it and... And... He didn't even talk to the girl, he didn't date her, he didn't marry her or anything, but it was just... That was one of those moments where he... He came in contact with a girl that was just the perfect girl, you know? And... That's his success story. Now that's quite pathetic when you think about it and um, the same success story is being told by men today these days right now in the 2020s and um, oh, I dated a girl once and they tell the story as if um, they're players and that's perfectly okay because um, the male ego no matter how small the success rate is and how low it is and how kind of pathetic it is comparing it to maybe your own results uh, they uh, their ego which must be some sort of a biological trick to keep society keep men in society happy or keep them tame or keep them in the matrix I'm not exactly sure but uh, it, might, it could be something inbuilt in men and uh, for instance, I, I, I did, I, I have a student recently, and he's, he's in his early 20s. And uh, his attitude, I could tell, he didn't explicitly say that to me, but his attitude was like, you could tell he was like almost looking down on me. He was like, you know, because he's, he's taller than me, he's younger than me, he's better looking than me, he's fitter than me. These are all things that, are, that just come with youth. Um, and uh, these, these, it's just him being younger and luckily, luck, uh, luck of a draw that he's taller than me and all these other things, right? And uh, the first 24 hours when he first arrived, he just wanted to get drunk and hit the club. He didn't even want to try, he didn't really take it seriously. And um, there was a lot of contempt for me. Like I felt it was like, it was almost like um, he wanted to sh run the show. He, he knew about girls. He's met a few girls off Tinder. He knows what he's talking about. He's younger, better looking, taller than me. Girls obviously look at him, so he knows more, more about this than me. So the, the ego was so high that it was almost like he wasn't willing to learn, you know? And then um, he wanted me to demonstrate in the club, but he'd had a few drinks, so he couldn't actually see that um, I, I hooked a girl who was a club promoter and DJ with 900,000 followers on TikTok. Um, I hooked her and then I gave her to one of our friends and they're going out on a date. And the table of girls that he wanted to get to, but he was too scared to go and talk to, um, because, you know, he was giving me a lot of attitude and he was telling me to um, demonstrate as a, you know, as a, I, I'm the man, I'm, I'm younger, taller, better looking than you, so therefore I know more than you, which is retarded, right? And um, the table of girls that he was like, oh my god, they're so hot. 
he was drunk, he didn't notice that I went over and picked out the hottest girl at that table, got her number. Her brother was the one paying for the table and I navigated that whole kind of dangerous situation to get in, unscathe, extract the girl. Obviously I couldn't pull, some of her friends were getting drunk, she had to play mother hen and um, uh, because some of the friends were drunk so she had to pretty much look after them, you know. And then 24 hours later, one of the friends is talking about having a date with uh, a hot DJ girl that is a club promoter with 900,000 followers on TikTok. And then I organize the hottest girl from that club to come and meet us. And she comes and meets us um, the very next day. And he goes from, to, oh, oh, his eyes wide open. And then we go out to do some day game. And he's afraid to approach, which is the most basic of thing ever. ever. Like, a, approaching a girl is not, not something to be scared of. Imagine that. You go over and go, you can't even say hello to a girl, right? That's like being a pussy on, on another level. Now, I know a lot of you guys get scared, but think about it logically. You're scared to say hello to a girl? And then this young guy who has this thing in built in with him, which most men do, which is, um, I'm awesome, I've spoken to girls before, I've matched with a girl on Tinder, I've got laid. Like the smallest amount of success, it's like inbuilt to men to make them content with their results. He then, he suffered from what's called the Dunning-Kruger effect because he didn't know what he didn't know. Like most of you watching this don't know what you don't know. Um, and then once he started to see, you know, because he's paid, he paid money for this course, he started to see that he doesn't know what he doesn't know and now he's got a little bit more information on outside of the matrix, seeing things that he's never seen before by a guy twice his age, an old, fat, short, ugly old man, slaying it still at his age. He's outside of the matrix going, whoa, hang on, hang on. I didn't know this was possible. He's gone from arrogant, egotistical talking down to me to oh oh my goodness Dave knows what he's doing I need to listen to Dave oh my god guru Dave my marketing here sucks I get it I get it and I, I, I totally understand that but outside of your reality there is another world um, and just like this current student who is now on board fully and hangs off every single word that I say. A lot of guys out there don't fully understand what's outside the matrix by getting coaching with someone like myself. And that's a double-edged double -edged sword because for me, if I'm coaching, it makes it very hard for me to get students because they don't believe it. I don't believe any of this stuff's real. While the other side of the sword, it is great because if most men are absolute losers that are content with their shit, miserable lives, and this student is a good looking guy, but his success is absolutely pathetic. On this trip, I have already done, I think it was three times his entire lay count within a couple of days. Um, and obviously, just slaying through lots of girls is not, not necessarily the plan. It is to, you know, I go to this specific location, I go there and then I go hard until I find a good one, then I keep a good one, right? And that's what you guys should be trying to do. You go through and you meet and date a lot of girls until you find a good one because there's not many good girls out there. And all of the really shit women, we leave for these losers that are living inside the matrix. That's what we do. Um, and they deserve it because they're egotistical, they've got 
they've got that gene that mental it's like the the matrix gene imprinted in their brain to make them content with their shit miserable dating lives and um and instead of just accepting that they also have an ego about that and they talk down to people like myself and they don't believe what i go through on they don't believe that dating and picking up girls is a skill um, that can be learned and it takes a long time to learn it. Um, you can get a PhD in this stuff. I've got a PhD in this stuff. And um, so that's why we give them, <laughs> we allow them to take all of the trash. The, most of these men are the, the types of men that end up in the 50% that get divorced and lose half their stuff. Most of them, not all of them. Um, actually, I get a lot of guys that are divorced coming to me for help. Um, and if they were to come to me before getting to, getting married in the first place, their life would be totally different. They wouldn't have ended up marrying the wrong girl, I don't think, because they'd have the skills to find a good one and the knowledge to know what is a bad one. But yeah, this is just a bit of a reflection on how this, this student, like many, not all, like a lot, lot come to me and they, they understand that I know what I'm talking about and they pay good money for, you know, getting coaching. But it was just wild seeing within a 24, 24 48 hour uh, period him going from almost having contempt for me. As if like, oh, you're looking at me visually as a black pill a guy, because most people are black pill. You are low mate value, short, ugly, old Dave. You're disabled Dave. You're put me in a box as if because of my physical attributes that I cannot help, I don't have the knowledge, wisdom and ability break outside of that and get real success with women and have that attitude to talk down to me to literally 24 hours to 48 hours later oh whoa realizing that that's him he's the one that knows nothing his entire life experience is an entire lie up until this point um, and realizing, uh, you know, like we, we went and did some day game, he was afraid to approach, um, questioning everything. How do I open? You know, the usual, what's, what's my opener? I need a can line because I'm scared to open my mouth. You know, the classic. And then um, I approached a legit nine in the mall inside one of these stores while shopping like shopping for clothes, hooked, brought him into the set, and then um, we invited her out for dinner straight away. She came and sat down with us for dinner, and she was a legit nine. And, um, uh, you know, like hooked them up, and he's got her number, and he's, you know, texting her now. He could have pulled that night, but he wanted to just do more DG with me because he realizes now the value of hanging out with me and doing day game. Um, he didn't want to try to pull the nine. He's like, oh no, I need the skill set. So within 24 hours to 48 hours, he went from arrogant to, oh, I need to hang out as much as possible and get as much information about day game as possible from you, um, which is the right mentality. Um, but yeah, this is just my thoughts on it. And, um, I also had another guy start DMing me on, uh, he sent a coaching request out and he had the same sort of attitude as a younger good looking guy, I was like, oh, they didn't care to get on a call with me, and he just kept pushing me back um, and uh, I was like, I, fuck off, I just can't be bothered dealing with you anymore, you arrogant cunt. Um, it was like, it's very common out there where um, it makes it difficult to get clients, but it makes life so much easier because when we're out here meeting girls, our competition is absolute, arrogant, pitiful, pathetic 
fucking losers. And I love that. I love the fact that you go into a bar and most men are wallflower pussies doing nothing. And most men are afraid to talk to women in the street because they're pussies. And we're living outside of this social construct, this social prison. Um, and um, I just love that. I love being outside of the sheep. But again, if you're watching this video and um, you've got that ego, which a lot of you guys do, you do, um, maybe your results aren't as good as you think they are. Maybe you being a pretty boy in your 20s isn't enough. Maybe your results kind of suck. And maybe spending some money and getting some coaching with me will change your life. And most guys, I'd say almost all the guys that get coaching with me, they, um, they think that the money is, they think it's cheap. So anyway, I am still here for a few more days. We're killing it over here. Um, I might, I might see if I can make a little video, like a little bit of a, a small little podcast with some of the guys to kind of explain what we get up to on a travel immersion. Because um, the guys that have come here, it's legit changed their lives, and that's not a joke. They will say it themselves. That's not marketing. You'll notice that my marketing sucks. You'll notice that I don't over-exaggerate things on this channel. you also notice that um, uh, I don't... Um, there's no flashy paid models and actresses and things like that. This is real. Um, but yeah, some of the guys here with the new, new social media strategies we've been using as well, we've legit changed their lives. We've legitimately changed their lives. Um, <clears throat> one of the guys using my strategies, I'm good with social media, I'm not good at marketing and sales, but uh, I'm good with social media. One of the guys has got, gone viral and been viewed over two million times on TikTok within two weeks. Um, he's legit getting stopped in the street and built himself a massive account within two weeks based on my strategies on how to build a social media account. We're mainly doing it to target women and get women to DM you, but anyway. Um, now he could have a career. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's my thoughts for today. Top link in the description if you want to get some coaching with me and you don't think that I'm this old, ugly, disabled piece of shit that doesn't know what he's talking about, you can go to my website and sign up and uh, learn what everyone else learns, that you don't know shit, you don't know what you're talking about. And if, even if you've got coaching from another coach, um, you go get coaching from the best coach in the world, what you think is the best coach in the world, then go get coaching from me and compare. I guarantee this is another level. See you guys in the next, next video.